Guess whose passport was in there? Omar should be wearing this white one. But travel well, I'm to <laughs> This is very cold, unlike Nigeria, because. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> <Unlike Nigeria. laughs> Why, okay? I don't have to tell you why. Our travel well, prep. <laughs> wow. So our travel prep. Okay, you can see. Mama, Mama, Ghana, Madam. Until your life. So this is like a, a travel vlog, and I wanted us to film um, a quick video in this vlog to tell you about the place that we um, will be going. So I don't know where we're heading to. Mm -hmm. Tell them about Joss. Why Joss is special okay. to you? Okay, Joss is special to me because Daddy keeps on talking about it. I like that you grew up there, right? That's you, my yeah, that's our hometown. And when we get there, we're going to meet uh, a lot of our cousins, which is which is fun because not all, not do any of them live in Lagos? No, we are we are mostly in the north and we're in the western parts. Okay. Nigeria. Why, why is DOS important to you? How DOS is important to me because like uh, the place is very cold unlike Nigeria because oh, no. <laughs> unlike Nigeria Unlike Lagos Unlike Lagos it's not in Nigeria Unlike Lagos because Lagos is very very hot but just in, it is mostly cold and like you barely need AC you can live without AC in That's for sure. That's yeah, for sure. Okay. Yes, you can you can live without That's AC. Sure. Okay, what about you? Tell me about Joss. <laughs> what is the only <laughs> Tell me about Joss. What do you know about Joss? The only thing I know about Joss is You don't know anything about Joss? My cousins. Okay. The only thing I know about Joss is I want to have my cousins. Okay, why why are you being excited about packing <laughs> and going to Joss if you don't know anything about Joss? Because my best you! Woohoo! That's not her first time! This is her second time! The last time we talked, she was very tired. Like three or four. Can I say hello to my brother? So, okay. So, um, from being, I think this um, travel has been in the works for a while. Alhamdulillah, that, um, God has made it possible for us. You planning this for long? No, don't do that. So, Alhamdulillah, the time has arrived for us to travel. Um, there's something about uh, family travel, it's always uh, Enjoy. a beautiful thing to do. Uh, it it uh, enables you to keep memories. So I'm going to give you your tickets. Please make sure you keep it spray. Oh, yeah, just wait. Because you guys like a adult now. Yeah, you have to get a ticket. You should go. No, you guys are technically. I don't want to see my adult. What's that? Ah, uh, so you <laughs> what that? What? What do you understand by it? Read it. And then what talk? Are you going to it's cry? Right. <laughs> what? What? What is it? Are you crying? <laughs> What is it? Your sister doesn't even understand anything. Listen. <laughs> what is it? You guys are not talking. You are going to Saudi Arabia. Yes, so, so technically, 
But in Medina, we are going to visit Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We are going to go to Mecca from Medina and do our Umrah, and we spend some few days in Mecca. We are going to spend about five days in Medina, five days in Mecca. From Mecca, we now move to Jeddah. We also spend another five days in Jeddah before coming back to Medina. Jeddah is also another state in Saudi Arabia. But it's, uh, it's a little bit more social. It's not a religious site. Medina and Mecca are religious sites. They are the two sacred Islamic places. While Jeddah is just, it's just to the night and have fun after doing a long time. Congratulations, girl. Thank you very much, Dada. Answer your prayers for us. Yes. Allah ya kara budi, Allah ya kara azki, ya kudi mu alberka. Sujudu shuku. سجد وجهي للذي خلقه بالشق سبعه وبسره بعوده وقوته فتبارك الله أحسن الخالقين. أوكي؟ وين ما أبقى وين إلى السجدة؟ الله يلا كرمك الله يلا كرمك بودي. أوكي؟ الله يلا كرمك بودي. بودي. Hi Fam Bam. Good morning. Um, it is currently 8:15. AM and um, I'm headed to Balogun market on a normal day like I don't go to the market this early But this is December and oh my god the traffic that leads to the car park that where I normally park is just something else during um, in December so I was in the market I think like few weeks ago I got something and unfortunately um, I have to return it to get a smaller size of the things i got so i just called the woman this morning i was like please when will you be out she said nine okay i was like okay i'm going to be there by eight or eight thirty but this eight fifteen i'm still waiting for my brother to come out so that we can go so yeah um today is just um prep prepping and parking honestly alhamdulillah i was like able to do the girls parking um that's Isan and islam's um parking i think um day before yesterday but um i think iman has not parked i feel like she's old enough to do her parking and i told them we are not going to take any clothes i'm going to show you the items i got for um this trip i don't want them to take like heavy clothes just like um abayas then leggings and tops which i got and um hijabs too which i got so i'm going to show you after i come back but today on the agenda is just <laughs> going to i thought like yesterday was hectic because we spent like the whole day in the salon they had issues with their gen and with their light oh my god i think i was at the salon around 11 30. i didn't come back to this house till around um eight so you can imagine Alhamdulillah, we are able to like um, do our hair. Hassan, my brother, my brother and Kalula in Nailahi wa Ina Ilahi Rajul. Baza ka putuba? Dang Allah shab shab. Come with us traffic. Fam, are you seeing this weather? It's going to rain. Alhamdulillah, but oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? This is like um so nine. Okay, sorry, this is eight twenty-five and this is what the sky looks like. What? Okay, it's going to be fine. We have finally made it out and we are on Osborne Road. The weather is looking nice. Can your Dubai ever? Can your Dubai ever? <laughs> 
Farm, alhamdulillah, we made it to the market, and this was the place I feared that there was traffic. Okay, there's a little bit of traffic in front, but alhamdulillah, Shah, alhamdulillah, we made it. <laughs> so, so, all right, um, we're going to enter the car park. Um, I had to come to um, Lucky to LG office to get um, our fun because um, I don't know when we'll be coming out later it might be in the evening it might be at night and i think they close by five and i don't want to travel and leave our fan there so i finally got it i pray and hope that they have fixed the fan because this is like the second time i'm taking the fan to them so right now i've called the person that cuts our nails he's going to be in the house in the next 10 to 15 minutes so we are going to do that and then and then we'll pack inshallah so yeah how don't you know what can i do to this place some part of the can give bandage for no we are going to show you the before <laughs> so dirty subhanallah <laughs> <laughs> mommy yes my love so these are the jobs i got from um, kaduna i got three pieces for each person i feel like it's more than enough what do you guys think three pieces of um jobab and then Four pieces of um, what's the name? Oh my god! Four pieces of um, abayas of different colors. It's now come and try on your own. Okay. Okay, okay mama. Uh, sorry. It's okay. So try this first. Here, Sakawa. Why? Why? Why do you need to do it my size? Anything you buy is my size. I don't understand. Anything you buy is my size. Come on, Yaya. Is it not yours? So you don't want it to be your size? I do. Ah! It fits you? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, mashallah. Well, this I'm is so cute. I'm going to stay like this. You're going to say like this. No, this is meant for Maka and Medina. So I got this color for her. And the day that we're going to um, Maka to perform our Umrah, she'll be wearing this white one. Um, but I'm coming. But this one and this one is literally the same style. But this one I think is different. So we have this color, we have this color, and we have this white one. Okay. So I'm going to wear this. Okay. So bring Zoom Gary. Ooh, this is so cute, mashallah. This is so lovely. So you are performing your umrah wearing this shirt. Hi, fam bam. So um, this is future me in this um travel vlog. <laughs> I finished editing this vlog and I realized that I never got to show you what I got for the girls. I think I only showed um the jewel bags I got. The jewel bags I got for the girls is literally the same thing as um um Islam zone, so there is no difference. This leggings, I think we've I've known this leggings for like um close to five years now. Ever since I moved to Lagos, this is the leggings that I've been buying for the girls. It is the quality is just so amazing I mean, honestly and um it lasts long for them. Did, like they have this leggings but I was like okay since we are going to travel let me just like order for um new ones for them. I got like um five for each person. Let me show you I think I got um four black and then one wine color. I wanted navy blue for them, but by the time I made up my mind, it was sold out. So this is what the leggings looks like. Like, oh my God. I wish you them could feel the quality. And like, it's not transparent, it's not heavy, and it's not too thick at the same time. So this is what they will be wearing on their, their abaya and their um, jiroba. And for the tops, I decided to like get um five tops for them. So this is the first one. I don't know if you can see it, let me move backwards. I, I decided to go and with extra large for them because my girls are into like um, 
extra large tops even though this is not like as big as the ones um, at the Iman where I was like there's no need for you to like wear a baggy baggy under a jilbab or an abaya so I decided to get, um, to get this so this is one of the tops it's cotton which is great for the weather so I decided to get like a v-neck for this one and I think um, each, each, um, each of the girls got two of this and then the next one I got is this beautiful body can top this is what it looks like I think I got this color and um, black it's a very nice um, textured um, body con top too I got two of this too and the last um, of the tops I got is um, this round neck this is what it looks like and it's also in size extra large and yeah these are the tops I got for them I, I kept telling myself that for this trip I want like their outfits to be kept simple and easy for them I don't want the one that will be doing a wifey or will be going to the mosque and they will be struggling with their clothes you know so far they've been enjoying it because right now we are currently in um, Makkah so um no complaints so far once we are going out they just put on their tops their leggings and they put their jilbab or their abaya um, on top and um, it's just been wonderful so let's get back into this video bye Hi fam, good morning. It's been a chaotic um kind of um packing and whatnot. So um this is currently 857 and um I need to head out run right now. <laughs> I have some errands to run and I need um to stock up on our uh, medications. So that is what I'm going to be doing now. And um as for packing, are we done? No. So this is for Isan and that is for Fatima. So um these two boxes we are good we have weighed them and they are just like perfect i think one is 19 and one is 20. what is left is my luggage inaya's luggage dada's luggage islam's luggage is upstairs but we have finished packing so yeah we were meant to live like um two hours ago but immediately we are about leaving the house a woman um um checked our passport to see if it was complete and guess what guess whose passport was in there in Aya's passport we spent over one hour me one hour one and a half hours searching for a passport i was already tearing up because that means we'll have to go and leave her because there is no way we'll cancel our flights and um cancel our hotels and what's not i and abuima we just like made up our mind that okay we can't get her passport now and there's nothing we can do so we just have to allow her or, or rather leave her with my sister to take her to kaduna so that mama can take care of her and ah, god should continue to bless my brother hassan so he just went to our what's the name oh my god to our showroom and he saw um, Abu Iman's printer um, on top of the shoe rack because Abu Iman mentioned that he printed he printed it and um, he brought it back home and then he was like okay let him just check the printer and see so he checked the printer and guess whose passport was there <laughs> Inu Mama's passport <laughs> Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah so this is currently like um I think three we were meant to leave the house by two anywho I'm in the car we're heading to the bank from the bank we're heading to the airport so I think this is going to be excuse me i think oh my god oh my god okay <laughs> my sister <laughs> so fam i think i'm going to close this um prep video here and the next one i will do is um another um maybe part two of my travel vlog yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you so much for watching and sorry that my vlog has been all over the place but this is what um this is how it looks like traveling as a family of family of five are we five now? I have four children. Are we Iman, me? Oh, family of six. Wow. MashaAllah. I have such a big family. Family of six? Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. That's like half a dozen. It never fully registered with me that we're a family, we're a family of six. 
ah mashallah okay then fam thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you have not give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next vlog inshallah bye